Hey guys, welcome back to Callus Crew Challenge 2, round of 32, which is round 1, basically. And we are switching gears here over to RBY, Gen 1. It's going to be Gilbert Arena, so known as Mark Op, known as Mark OP, whatever you want, against Mysterious M, who is a... I don't know if he's ever appeared on my channel before, but a lot of you guys probably know him, but... If you don't, he is a veteran Greek player. He was an Uber's main for a lot of years. Maybe he still is as far as he's concerned, but he's branched out. He plays a little bit of everything, a little bit of Gen 1, a little bit of Gen 4, a little bit of Gen 7. Been around the block, has expanded his horizons. Uh, Marco, I think, is a particularly good Gen 1 player. I think he is likely more known for his Gen 3 and, hell, perhaps even his Gen 4, but... I think that Gen 1 is probably Marco's best or second best tier. Certainly, if you think ADV is better than his Gen 1, and I'm not 100% sure that it is, but even if you feel that way, I would say that Gen 1 is probably a close second, probably not too far behind. I think Marco is very good at RBY, so as much as I like and respect Mysterious M, it's hard for me to not feel like Marco has the advantage here. So real quick, before we get into it, just two quick things. I'm not going to be able to narrate all the matches in this. I'm just not, especially Fairy Gens. So if you want to see all the games live or the replays of the games that I'm not going to have on YouTube, best way to do that is in my Discord server. There will be a link in the description if you'd like to join. Other thing, donations. We need them. We want them. We love them. If you're able to in any way contribute to this tour, really, truly anything, 5 bucks, 10 bucks, it all helps. Prize pool's only 300 something right now. I want to get it up to 900 so we can pay 300 each to the winning team. Then I would really appreciate that. And the information on how to do that, it's just via a simple, quick donation link. That is also in my Discord server, so I highly encourage you to join that if you've not done so already. Let's go. Round 1 RBY. Going to be Gilbert Arenas. That's Marco on the bottom. And it's going to be M on the top. Jinx and Zam are two of the four Pokemon that are common leads, the other two being Starmie and Gar, and it's a standard turn for them of T-Wave, and it would have been a lovely kiss, but that's not the way that it worked out. He did get lovely kissed on the following turn, though, so taking a nap. Lax on Lax, and they almost universally carry Reflect these days, that is modern RBY, which kind of should be an oxymoron. But yeah, they uh, they carry Reflect to handle each other. The the general Lax counter is Lax. But that's a blast from the past. Man, I can't tell you the last time I saw a Victory Bell. I know that Ebola used to use that quite a bit. But I don't know... I don't know if anyone uses it anymore. I have not been following SPL, certainly not. RBY SPL, so I have no clue if Victory Bell is on the resurgence or what, but that is an old school mon that I haven't seen in quite some time, and we'll see if M can get some value out of it. Rhydon comes into a Body Slam Para, Earthquake, Earthquake respectively, out of the way he goes. There's Chansey, that's also going to eat an Earthquake for 50%, but he's just going to sit there and fish for full Para, and obviously Marco's going to hope that he finds a crit. So far, neither the full power or the crit has come. And he's going to reflect up. And the fact that Chansey has reflect makes me suspect that the Lax doesn't, which I don't know if this is M getting creative or M using an older team, probably an outdated team at this point, but he's definitely doing things a little bit differently. Usually Lax has reflect, and usually teams don't have a Pokemon called Victory Bell. But will it be different today? And it's going to be Last Folk Tauros, obviously. Not bringing Tauros is a prosecutable criminal offense as far as RBY is concerned. So he's opting not to run Executor and instead to run Victory Bell. So, I mean, I, I can't even... It would be a whole other video for me to try to explain RBY mechanics. And one or two of them I would have to double check myself but the ones that are applicable here as far as victory bell is concerned uh critical hits work differently in this gen they're influenced by the pokemon speed basically 
moves with high crit ratios from like relatively fast pokes, crit often or always. Uh, in the case of, say, Persian using Slash, it always crits. And I believe that Razor Leaf from Victory Bell either always crits or like damn, damn close to always crits. It might even be always. And then uh, the other move that Victory Bell has that you need to be aware of is Wrap which is actually a viable move, granted like a cheesy semi-taboo move in Gen 1. Uh, but the way that Rap works in this Gen is you could basically do it forever and the opponent can't move at all while you're wrapping them. Same with Clamp. Uh, the counterplay is that eventually it just misses and then you get punched in the face. But And obviously it doesn't do a lot of damage in the meantime. Uh, but Wrap is an obnoxious and viable move here in Gen 1 as well. So there's Razor Leaf landing yet another crit. And Tauros gets in as the Lack sleeps. Body Slam going to do that. So M has actually been ahead for, I mean, not like miles ahead, but like a little bit ahead. Half a step ahead for most of this game. That doesn't mean much in RBY. The way that it does in other tiers, just nonsense can, does, will happen. That's just the way the tier works. Uh, but M has, he's putting up a good fight against Marco, who, like I said, I really believe is a fantastic RBY player. But the issue now is that the healthy bull from Marco is largely unchecked. And now they're going to have to get into this RNG fest of a bull mirror match here. They can never paralyze each other, which is another RBY quirk. Uh, I was discovered years and years after the fact uh, that an RBY normal Pokemon cannot paralyze other normal Pokemon when using Body Slam. Whether that was intended or whether that was a programming error, I'm not clear. But you can't status stuff as an added effect that's the same type as you. So you also can't Thunderbolt, Para, and Electric Pokemon in RBY. Like I said, unclear if that was intended or just one of the many programming oversights in this gen. These are old, old games. These games came out when I was in like second or third grade to really make you guys feel young and put in perspective how ancient this technology is. But it's awesome that this tier is still played today. And this is a close one. This might come down to a bull mirror match, which is kind of crappy if you're not a fan of RNG, but... That might be where we're going with this. And here comes Tauros for Marco. He gets the crit that he needs with Body Slam. That could have ended very poorly. And that's going to enable M to get in and flip a coin, which he's going to win. And now Starmie. Yep, just domino effect back and forth, back and forth. He doesn't actually have Surf, though, so he's got to rely on Psychic. That gives M a one-turn window to fish for an Earthquake crit that he doesn't find. And that's going to be it. Would have needed the crit there, and even then, had he found it, it would have just come down to Rhydon on Rhydon. However, M would be faster because the Rhydon for Marco was paralyzed. So, uh, as it turns out, had M found that crit in the one-turn window that he had to find it, he actually would have won the game. But the crit did not come, and in a close one, in one where I think M played very well and put up quite a fight, clearly could have gone either way. It is nevertheless going to be Marco P, Gilbert Arenas, whatever you know him as, taking down game one. But these are best of three. Here's game two, but I should probably tell you the team names before we go any further. Now, granted, you can just see in the video title what the team names are, but I'll say them out loud one time, or at least attempt to. Uh, Marco's is easy. He's playing for Team Sad Little Men alongside Elodin and Chaitanya. Mysterious M, on the other hand. Let me tell you, the... Uh, the Memphis Grizzlies for Mysterious M, alongside Little Big Planet and 2HP. Easy peasy. Here's game two. Gilbert Arenas, again, Marco on the bottom. He's going to miss T-Wave on turn one. Good stuff. And M on the top is going to land his T-Wave. How do you miss T-Wave, you might ask. Doesn't it have 100% accuracy, you might ask. I would tell you back. Yes, sir, it has 100% accuracy. 
you might look at me with a confused and puzzled and dejected look. And I would tell you that one of the quirks, this is clearly unintended and a programming oversight of RBY, is that moves with 100% accuracy can still miss with 1 in 256 frequency. That is because in the coding, they forgot to count <clears throat> they forgot to count 0 as a number. And as such, when it rolls between 1 in 255, if it happens to roll 0, you miss. So 1 out of 256 times, randomly, 100% accurate moves will miss. And obviously, when you lose games and matches that way, oh, body slam missed. It's real crappy. But anybody who plays this tier knows what they're getting into, knows that it's quirky and weird and flawed, and uh, some people even view it as charming. Some people like it. Some people go, you know, that just adds to it. That just kind of... There's never going to be a Pokemon game or a Pokemon OU tier quite like RBY ever again. It's kind of... It, it feels very old and janky because it, it is, but does that add a certain charm to it? Does that in some way... Make it more appealing. For some people, the answer would be yes. There is a T-Wave landing for Chansey, and he quickly gets out of the way. What Marco didn't want there, and M had a couple opportunities to do it, uh, is to get his Chansey frozen, because in this gen, Freeze is effectively permanent. And I say effectively, a poke will never thaw on its own. Uh, one way that you can remove freeze is you can use haze, which removes freeze in this gen. RBY was fucking weird, all right? It's the Wild West. Uh, but even with that, there's not much that learns haze. It's like Golbat learns haze, which is a completely, completely unviable mon since Psychic is just a dominant type in this gen. Psychic and Normal, by far, the best types as far as RBY is concerned. So Golbat is completely, utterly unviable. So even though you can haze away your frozen bullshit, you're not going to use Golbat. You're just not. So freeze, freeze is basically permanent. There's no aromatherapy or heal bell or anything like that. There's no items, and stuff never thaws on its own. So once you get frozen, uh, yeah, you're fodder. You're, you're a tempo sacrifice. That is all you can do. Looking like fairly standard RBY at the moment. No victory bells. Not that the bell was awful last game, but I also don't feel like it did much. It was probably the weak link, even if it wasn't complete trash. Lots of paras, you know, as you do in Gen 1. Yeah, I mean, we could just real quick do a health check, but everything's pretty normal so far. Paralyzed, relatively healthy Starmie. Paralyzed, mid-health lax. Paralyzed Healthy Chansey, a lot of par a lot of paralysis. Paralyzed Alakazam, a not paralyzed Chansey. Wow. Healthy Zap and Healthy Lax. So every single poke that M has shown was paralyzed at some point, though of course Lax rested it away. Let's not miss that big body slam crit. On Chansey there, which made him get out of the way. And then Executor also had to eat a Body Slam on the way in, which the damage is whatever, but he got paralyzed. Chansey is also going to be paralyzed now, but he did sneak it in on a double and get soft-boiled off, which was good. And Body Slam and T-Wave, respectively. There's going to be a Bull in the back for both guys, and then obviously M has two other pokes other than Bull that he has yet to reveal. Chansey could have died there to a body slam, but gets away with it. And now they're both going to opt for healing moves, soft-boiled and rest, respectively. Zapdos in. As we discussed in the previous video, with speed, you're more likely to get crits. So Thunderbolt there does a ton via the crit. And both players have a Zapdos, which is not super common. It's not, like, super rare either. People kind of dabble in Zapdos occasionally. The reason that they don't use it all the time, because it's definitely a good poke, uh, is because it's 
utterly blocked by Rhydon. Used to be by Rhydon and Gollum. Nobody uses Gollum anymore. It's just Rhydon. But yeah, Hidden Power doesn't exist yet. So you can't get him with HP Grass, HP Ice, HP Water, whatever. Uh, what you could do to Rhydon is you could Thunderbolt it for actual zero. And you could Drill Peck it for uh, damn close to zero. You are completely shut off by Rhydon. Which is why everybody and their mother doesn't use Zapdos. It would be everywhere. It would be a staple if Rhydon didn't exist. But it does. So people don't use it. But yeah, people splash in Zapdos. They'll use it once, maybe even twice in a set. Part of the very limited metagame of RBY, there are not a lot of mons, and there's even fewer viable mons. You see the same uh, 10, 12 mons, or whatever the total is for the whole metagame, over and over again. Doesn't make it a bad metagame, as I feel like I've said many times in this video. The way that I'm going to choose to phrase it is, it's one of the quirks of RBY. Marco set that up nicely, though. He ate the Hyper Beam, and then on the recharge turn, he went for the Boom. Only way that goes wrong is if he misses with 1 and 256. He didn't, and now the Bull can clean it up. Uh, those were two relatively long RBY games, though it can go, like, marathon long sometimes. 77 and then 89, respectively. Uh, I probably didn't do too much play-by-play -play commentary, but I feel like I... Talked my way through it and hopefully provided some form of entertainment. RBY, not my specialty. But it's going to be a 2-0 victory for Marco. And that perhaps does not tell the full story of how close the series was. I thought that M, unsurprisingly, played well and put up a very good fight. Uh, like I said, Marco just does not lose very often in RBY. And this is the outcome I was expecting, but... M looked good. Uh, he, he really, like I said, the, the 2-0 doesn't tell the story of how close these games actually were. And they could have gone either way, really and truly. But Marco is going to hang up a win for these sad little men. And it's going to be Mysterious M's teammates, Little Big Planet and 2HP, who have to bounce back for the Memphis Grizzlies. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Lots more to come. I will see you in the next video.